So here we are with Ty on map. This is uh, Dynamite Dan 1. As you can see, the whole of the uh, playing field is all here. It's quite cool, little thing for Windows. You can, if I just, uh, let's have a look. Just click on the window. You can move around, uh, have a look at the map. This is a whole entire game of Dynamite Dan on the Spectrum by Mirasoft. You can, yeah, use the cursor keys to look around. The, uh, the whole, this is the entire game. You can zoom in, right in, and zoom out. I don't know why you'd want it quite that small, but there you go. And what's interesting about this, it's not just the uh, map, you can also play it as well like this. So if, if you look at the very top, there I am in the airship, just like at the start of the Spectrum game, Dynamite Dan. And as you can see, I'm actually playing the game, but with the full, uh, with the full 1080p screens. This, this does require DirectX 10 and it's available for Windows. I think it requires Windows 7 or above and maybe it would work on XP, I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I'm actually running this in Windows 10. You can download it at the uh, description below. And uh, yeah, so this is quite cool. So let's proceed. Watch out for uh, these guys here. Ooh, ouch. Now it will move automatically if you go towards the edge of the screen. Here's the lift. Quite cool. As you can see, uh, zoom in and out. Wait for the lift to take us down. Now you will remember Dynamite Dan and the different screens on the Spectrum. It's quite cool to see everything all at once. I thought it was quite a fun uh, little utility and I've, I've never heard of it until recently. I saw it on a Facebook group and uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. So, shall we have a look at some of the other games that's included? It only works with the included games. So, uh, I'm falling down, I'm going to be falling a long way here. I don't remember if we can fall this far on the Spectrum version. Ooh, straight in the sea. <laughs> you can actually, like I say, you can zoom in and play it like this as well. That's more sort of like the sort of screen size the Spectrum had. I was never any good at Dynamite Dan, to be honest. But yeah, I find it, I find it quite cool. So let's have a look at one of the other, some of the other games that's included. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my control here. So here's the sequel, Dynamite Dan 2. Same sort of thing, really. You can zoom in, in and out. Uh, you can have a look around the playing field. And as you can see, this is like more like a left to right one, this one is. So yeah, it's quite cool. Go down, collect the, uh, the stuff. Now on this game, it only seems to show the uh, what's going on on the screen on the on the when you're actually in it. As you can see, the baddies keep disappearing as I uh, progress through the different screens, which would have been different screens on the game. So it's not quite as good as Dynamite Dan One, where you can see all the baddies all at once at the same time. But it still is quite uh, cool. Move down, zoom in if you want. And the, all the, uh, the dashboard at the bottom, some of it's missing from the original game, unfortunately. But yeah, this is quite cool. So yeah, this is Dynamite Dan 2 on tile map. Just a bit of fun, really. It's nothing really too serious about it. It's just, it's okay. So we have a look at another game. I think we should. So Jet Set Willy is a bit... Uh, weird because as you can see all the uh, the room names are here as well because it's showing each room so it shows you the room names and it makes it look a bit strange uh, can have a look around see all the uh, different rooms to move around the map you just use the cursor keys on the uh, PC keyboard and you can use minus and plus to Zoom in and out. 
on the game you start in the bathroom so here I am as you can see so it is it's it's kind of kind of neat man I quite like it there's not that much point to it really it's just something that's quite interesting I thought Is that weird, uh, the nightmare room? Watch out for the foot and stuff. Watch out for the saw right here. Oh, there we go. Can I jump on that? No, I can't. These games are really difficult. I always found. Shall I have a look? Let's have a look at another game. Oh, this is Jet Set Ready 2. Uh, where am I? Hold on, I haven't clicked on it at all. So, yeah, so I've never played this game. I don't know if it's... I seem to be wearing some sort of space suit by the looks of things. So there's a lift there. Again, you can zoom right out, climb up here, and as you can see, you can have a look around if you want, have a look at the later stuff. It does spoil the game a bit if you want to do it all the way through, but yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, it's quite interesting to see how the maps are laid out, as you can see. Let's have a look at another one of the games included. So he's spin dizzy. Another one of the included ones. As you can see, there I am. Just nice to have a massive playing field. Uh, I'm not sure the controls on this one. Q, A. Oh, this is very difficult. Another look. Surprising how big some of these games are actually. Can have a look around again. Uh, see any secrets that the developers might have put in the game. So yeah, Spindies is another one on here. You can see the later parts of the game and everything. Sorry about that, I keep getting that notification. Come in Windows for you. Another one on here, Starquake. Great game. As you can see. That one where you use them to go up and down. You can just about see me in the uh, middle there, falling down to my doom. Oh, you fuck. Again, zoom. Wow, this is a big game. You can have a look at the interestingness of the game. You zoom in wherever you want, zoom out. You can see the whole map there. As you can see, looking good. Let's have a look what we got. Where am I? I'm at the top in Idaho. Just makes the old Spectrum games look interesting on a high resolution 1080 monitor. You don't have to have it in 1080, you can have it in probably what resolution your Windows desktop is set at. But yeah, I thought it was interesting. Let's have a look at another game. Last but not least is uh, Technic and Ted. This is a game I had back in the day. Great fun, Great, very difficult. As you can see, another one where it shows all the room names. Watch out for that gun there. Ouch! So I, I think it's very interesting to see how the game looks with all these uh, rooms all presented for you, like at once, like this. So yeah. Zoom out again. 
10 you can tear. Surprisingly, it isn't all that big, is it? That's all of it. I always thought it was a bigger game than that. So there's, what, about 30 rooms there, something like that? Let's have a look at one of the later ones. I've never been this far in the game. So I always found it very difficult. You can see the prehistoric caves there. Under a different furnace. The tea machine, I never got that far. The forgotten room. Yeah, so it's interesting to see uh, the games like this. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a tile map, a, a little Windows thing I come across on Facebook group. Um, and uh, there it is, so that you can download it in the description below from the link, it's free. Works on Windows, unfortunately, I don't think there's a Macintosh version. But yeah, that's how that's the tiles map. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.